The Banyumasan people Nagoko Javanese, Madhya Javanese, Krama Javanese, Nagoko Gedrik, Wang Banyumasan, Madhya Gedrik, Tayang Toyajeneon, Krama Gedrik, Priyantan Toyajeneon, Indonesian, Suku Banyumasan colloquially known as Napak Javanese is a collective term for a Javanese subgroup native to the Indonesia's westernmost part of central Java. At approximately 8.5 million people, they are concentrated in Banyumas, Majinong, Silakap, Gombong, Kabuman, Banjarnagara, Purbalinga, Purwakarto, Bumiayu, Slawi, Pemalong, Tegal, and Brebes regencies. The Banyumasan speak Banyumasan language, a dialect which is often called Basa Napak Napak. History Topic. Hindu Buddhist Kingdoms era Topic. In the first era of Hindu Buddhist in Indonesia, Banyumasan region divided into Tarumanagara Kingdom's influence in the west and Kalinga Kingdom's influence in the east with Sipamali River or Kali Brebes as natural borders. The other Hindu Buddhist kingdoms that influenced this region is Gala Kingdom, Madang Kingdom, Kedari Kingdom, Singhasari Kingdom and Majapahit Empire. After the decline of Majapahit, Banyumasan region become part of Damak Sultanate. Topic. End of Damak Sultanate until rise of Mataram in Damak Sultanate era 1478 Banyumasan region divided into several Katapatan, which is Pasarlahar with its Adipati Duke Banyak Belanak, also Katapatan Warasaba with its Adipati Wargo Utomo I. Due to the territory's extent of Damak Sultanate that make Sultan Trengono third Sultan of Damak consider that a strong military was needed, for that he divided Damak territory's military into the area of military command. For western region, Sultan Trengono choose Adipati Banyak Belanak as a western territory military commander which includes region of Karawang to Suming Mountain Wanisobo. As a military commander of Damak Sultanate, Adipati Pasarlahar was given a title Panjaran Senapati Mankabumi I while his younger brother named Warakankana became a Pati general. After the death of Sultan Trengono, Damak Sultanate split into three sections, one of them is Pajang that ruled by Joko Tinker with his title Sultan Atawajaya In this era, most of Banyumasan region become part of Pajang territory. Following his predecessor's rule, Sultan Atawajaya also choose Adipati Pasarlahar which at that time being held by Warakankana, became Senapati Pajang with the title Panjaran Mankabumi II. Meanwhile, the Adipati of Katapatan Warasaba, Wargo Utomo I died and one of his sons named R. Joko Kaiman was chosen by Sultan Atawajaya became Adipati of Warasaba with the title Wargo Utomo II, he became 7th Adipati of Warasaba. At the end of Pajang Kingdom's Golden Era and Rise of Mataram Kingdom 1587, Adipati Wargo Utomo II gives his territory of Katapatan Warasaba to his brothers, meanwhile he himself created a new Katapatan and named it Katapatan Banyumas then he became first Adipati with the title Adipati Maripat. And then, this Katapatan of Banyumas growing rapidly, even after the center of this Katapatan were transferred to Sudagaran, Banyumas, due to its influences, other Katapatans became smaller. Along with the growing of Mataram Sultanate, many Katapatans in Banyumasan became under Mataram rule. Mataram rule over Katapatans in Banyumasan region didn't automatically annex Banyumasan region into inner circle of Mataram power which makes Katapatans in Banyumasan region still have autonomy and Mataram people also considered Banyumasan region as Mankanagara Kulan region, and the people are often called Wang M. Banyumasan. Topic social structure Topic Banyumasan social structure have their own unique that which differs with the other Javanese because they had neighboring Sundanese Timur influence, even its root was still Javanese culture. This also related with the people's characteristic which was very egalitarian that do not recognize the term Ningrat or Priyayi. This was also reflected by their language Banyumasan language that did not recognize register social status. The use of high language krama essentially was loanwords due to their intensive interaction with other Javanese people in order to appreciate the outer culture. Honorifying to the older person commonly to be shown by good attitude, affection and manner. 
Besides egalitarian, Banyumasan people also recognized by their honest and forthright characteristic which often called Kablaka, Blakasuta. Topic language Topic Banyumasan people speak Banyumasan language, a dialect or variety, of Javanese. The language were still retaining some of old Javanese loanwords. Banyumasan didn't replace the word a with o just like standard Javanese do. It is notable for its great number of nearly ubiquitous Sanskrit loans, found especially in literary Javanese. This is due to the long history of Hindu and Buddhist influences in Java. Like other Javanese in Indonesia, most Banyumasan people are bilingual fluent in Indonesian and Banyumasan. In a public poll held circa 1990, approximately 12% of Javanese used Indonesian, around 18% used both Javanese and Indonesian, and the rest used Javanese exclusively. In some areas especially in northern Silicap and southern Brebes, Banyumasan people are able to speak Sundanese, due to the historical influence from the neighboring eastern Priangan region and the influx of Sundanese people migrated eastward and married the local people. The Banyumasan language also commonly written with the script descended from the Brahmi script, natively known as Hanakarika or Karakan. Upon Indonesian independence it was replaced with a form of the Latin alphabet. Topic art topic Banyumasan arts were spread almost throughout the region. The art itself were commonly consists of flock performing arts which have certain functions that related to the people's lives with their creator. There is also another form of arts which is growing including, Wayang Kulit Gregag Banyumasan, it is a form of Wayang Kulit in Banyumasan version. In this region also recognized two Gragak or styles, which is Gragak Kittle Gunning and Gragak Lore Gunning. The specification of Wayang Kulit Gragak Banyumasan is people's feel which is very thick with the show. Bagalan, a traditional oral art which often used as part of a ceremonial wedding purpose, the property are often kitchen tools which every tools have their own symbolism that contains Javanese philosophy and useful for the bride and groom to create their own family. Topic music Topic Banyumasan traditional music has clear distinct with the other Javanese music. Kalunga musical instrument which also commonly founded in Tatar Sunda Sundaland is made from bamboo snippets were transversely placed and played by being hit. This unique Banyumasan musical instrument is made of wulung bamboo that is similar to Javanese gamelan, consists of gambing barung, gambing penaris, denham, kanong, gong and kendongkanthongan also known as tektak kentongan also made from bamboo. Kenthong is the most important tool, which made from bamboo snippets that elongated hole fed by its side and is played by being hit with a short wooden stick. Kenthongan were played by 20 persons equipped with bedak, seruling, kekarik and led by majorette. In one group of kenthongan, kenthong that used had several kinds used to produce harmonious sounds. The songs are sung mostly Javanese song and dangdut, salawat and jawawan of musical arts with Islamic atmosphere with musical instrument turbang jawa. In performing, this art sing the songs were adopted from Barzanji book. Topic dance Topic Langar, is a kind of traditional dance that thrives in cultural Banyumasan region. This art commonly served by two or more women. In the middle of this performing appear a male dancer which usually called Badud clown, Langar served in atop of a stage in the night or daylight, accompanied by a set of Kalung instrument. Synthron, is a traditional art that were played by a male with feminine clothes. Usually this art often stick with a bag. In the middle of a bag perform, the player do a ritual called mendum or trance, then one of the players mendum baden, and then be pressed with lesung and locked into a cage. In that cage he dress up like a woman and dancing along, together with the other players. In some cases, that player do a thol thol, that's mean the dancer bring a tampa and going around the arena looking for donation from the viewers. Akasamuda, is an art with Islamic atmosphere that serses in a form of penkak silat actions which mixed with the dances. Angak, is an art with Islamic atmosphere and served in a dance's form. Played by eight persons. At the end of the show the players doing trance, unaware, a plang or dang, an art that's similar with angak, the dancers are female teenagers. Bonkal, traditional musical instrument similar to anklung, only consists one instrument with four blades barreled slendro, with tone 2, 3, 5, 6. In bonkal perform art are served gending, gending only for bonkal. Bunsis, is a blend between music arts and dance arts that served by eight players. In the show accompanied with anklung instrument. The bunsis players besides from dancing they also become musician and vocalist. In the end of the show the bunsis players dung mendum. A bag is a form of traditional dance unique to Banyumasan with proffer t kuda keping. 
This art tells about valor of Prajurit Jaranan knight with their actions. Usually this performing art equipped with Berengan, Penthal and Sepate. In Ebig performing accompanied with Gamelan which usually called Banda. This art were similar to others Jaran lumping in other regions. Topic notable persons Topic Ahmad Tohari Dadding Kalbuadi Ebit G. Aid Gatat Subroto Otto Somarwato Prabowo Subianto Richard Sam Bera Slamit Gundono Sudirman Tantawi Ahmad Topic See also Topic Bachuradin Jurug Sependic Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Dialect Banyumasan Pemda Banyumas <laughs>